In our last video, I came up with the idea of going to the antique mall to find items to resell. So today we're going to the antique mall to see what we can get from the reseller so we can buy the resellers, resell and resell the reseller stuff. Say what? We're down to $41.83 that we can put toward thrifting to find items to flip for a profit. And since we're getting a little low on funds, I thought I would look through my home and I did find some more home decor that either I just wasn't in love with anymore or I just didn't have a place to put it. Here is everything I'm going to be selling on eBay, maybe some other platforms, I'm not sure just yet. But these are either items that I have fallen out of love with or that I really just don't have a place for. I'm not looking to get, you know, hundreds and thousands of dollars out of this stuff, but I am looking to get enough money out of this where I can use that money to add to the capital we already have, which isn't a lot, then I can take that and go to the thrift store and find more items to flip for a profit. Within a few days of me listing my home decor, two items already sold. One was a vintage clay horse. The other was a beautiful glass Tiffany style lamp. I have all of my home decor listed and while I'm not looking for huge profits when it comes to my own home decor, I am looking to make a little bit of money that we can put toward thrifting. But since we do have $41 left, let's take a trip to the thrift. The store was having 50% off all of their furniture. I didn't see anything I could drag home with me to sell, but I did find this log holder, black and brass, $3. The comps look really good on it. And in case I couldn't sell it locally, if there was no interest, the handle does fold down so I could ship it. Who doesn't love kitty cats at Christmas? If you're afraid of cats, you have aneurophasia. With little antlers and Santa hats on. I think someone is going to love this. Even though we're not even close to Christmas, people are always looking for Christmas items. I think it's so cute. I found this cute little purse. It's like a basket purse, but it's missing a little foot on it. What a shame because it is just adorable. You could use it for something else besides a purse. But it's so sweet, but I hate, 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 there's no, no foot on there. Oh, I'm about to leave you behind, little purse, sorry. Still haven't made it over to hard goods. I went through all the women's clothing and the men's clothing one more time. I found some more items. Charter House Square. I really like this $15. It'd be better if there were two of them. Two for $15, that'd be easier to resell. A little bit of what looks like water damage over there, but I do like that print. I really liked this set of four Asian prints. The only problem is they priced them individually instead of as a set. They priced them at $5 a piece, which was a little bit too steep for me to put money into. How beautiful is this? It's $5. It looks like it's acrylic. I don't think that's oil. I like this. I don't like the paper that's around it. It's a little weathered. That's easy to take off. Let's see. Yeah, you can tell this is vintage. I love that scenery. That'd be really cool for a farmhouse theme, a rustic theme. That might be worth picking up. I love the colors in it. Look at that barn. Whoever did this did a really great job. But their tails are off. You see? The tails have come off. Oh my gosh. They're $3 a piece. I guess they could be little bobtail dogs. I don't know if I should get them or not. That really disturbs me. They're $3 a piece. After looking over the painting one more time, I did notice there was some more water damage to the actual painting and there was some dirt on top of the painting, which I didn't think I'd be able to wipe off. So I left it behind. What is that? I like that. Ooh, there's something all over it though. Made in India. You guys know I have a blue and white obsession, but we're not buying for me today. I'm not seeing any other hard goods that really stand out to me. I did pick up these Joan Rivers fill-in powders. They're all brand new in the box, a dollar a piece. I have sold fill-in hair powder before. They go for really great money, and these are all brand new. I found this vase. It intrigues me. I tried looking it up. I can't find anything. You can feel part of the vase there, and the rest of it is like this beautiful design of the turtle. It's two dollars. It's so unusual. I think I have to get it. Sure you do. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
This was a great trip to the thrift. You are not going to believe the clothing I found. I also found a few little hard goods, maybe two or three, but in total, we only spent $39.57 for everything I'm getting ready to share with you. I love picking up men's clothing. For me, it sells quicker. I can sell it for more money than women's, depending on the brand. I found two of these 100% cotton shirts. This is from a vintage brand called Weekends Off, I believe. This has the beautiful pearl button, has the western look to it. I found two of these. This one is a size large and the other is a medium. I mentioned in previous videos that I like to touch everything whenever I am thrifting and that's because your fingers, they can tell when something feels like quality and if you keep doing this over time, you can tell it very quickly and as soon as I touched these, I could tell this was craftsmanship, this is quality and it had linen in it. This is from Celtic Ranchware. I'm wondering if the same person who donated the western looking shirts, the red ones, also donated these even though they're different sizes. But this is Celtic Ranch wear. This is cotton and linen. The quality, the craftsmanship, absolutely stunning. I love these and anytime something has linen in it, usually they go for a little bit higher price. I believe these were only $1.50 a piece. The red shirts were $4 a piece. Excellent, excellent deal. But I love this. I love the way it looks. It is very structured. It looks very high end. And when I ran the comps, they did not disappoint. I picked up a bunch of skorts, well not a bunch, three, and these were priced at I believe $1.50 a piece. Absolutely gorgeous. Went ahead and cleaned these as well. And if you don't know what a skort is, it's just a skirt with shorts underneath. Women like to wear these when they're playing tennis. I'm gonna go put on my skort. Walking, jogging, whatever. Absolutely beautiful. The quality is fantastic. A couple of these are from Lady Hagen. The other one is from Zach and Rachel. And I'm looking to price these anywhere around the $20 to $25 mark. I figure with spring on the way, along with summer, women are going to be looking for skorts. And there were a few more there that were not in good condition. These look like they're practically brand new. I love picking up really nice belts. I found a vintage guest leather belt. These were $0.49 cents a piece. And then I found a Betsy Johnson. Betsy Johnson she's not really high end. It's more boutique-y, what I would call it, but it has this beautiful bow on here. How beautiful is this? These are in really great condition. There's one little tiny spot on the belt of the Betsy Johnson, which I have disclosed. I have already listed everything as well, but I don't think that's really going to keep it from selling because you're really not going to see it once you have it on, but I love the way this looks. And of course, I love the G here on the guest vintage belt. It reminds me a lot of Gucci. It's not what Gucci is. Sort of, not really, but you know, it's very beautiful. When I saw this, I grabbed it right away. If you know anything about what is called lagging look, it's a very layered look that women enjoy wearing. And I found this is asymmetrical. I think it is so beautiful. I really want to keep it for myself. It was only $1.50. It's by Patrizia Luca Milano. And you know, it's, it's not like it's um, going to go for hundreds of dollars, but I am thinking right around 30 to $35, maybe 40. Um, I do have it listed. I can't remember what I listed it for. I love the color to it. I love the cheetah. I love the olive in here. I love the stripes. So beautiful, but you layered this with some leggings, maybe a little t-shirt underneath. So gorgeous. I do believe it is one size fits all. There is not a size in here, but it is very, very roomy. Like I said, tempted to keep it for myself, but I want the money instead. I love picking up things that are unique, unusual, that have a really good colorway to it. And I found this vintage, it is Ultimate Philadelphia PA is the brand. But this, that's what sold me on it. When I saw this, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. This was only $1.50. I love the beading. I love everything about this. The little tassels here on the side. To me, it's very unique. It's not just a plain denim jacket. It has a little bit of accent to it. It is in fantastic, fantastic condition. It is a size medium. Absolutely beautiful. I think I have it priced right around $30, $35. I don't know. I'll leave a link to my eBay store in the description box. 
but I do love this. It is so clean. All I did was steam it, no need to wash it, and it looks fantastic. I found these Joan Rivers hair fill in, they're powders. I've already sold one. I found one that was white. It sold right away. I will pop up how much I sold it for because I don't remember. But then I found some more. These are light blonde. These go for a lot of money. I only picked these up for a dollar, a dollar a piece. I wish there would have been a ton of these. They were new in box. I opened them up to be sure everything was in there. And I think I have these bundled together right around $50 bundled together. If you can find them in the thrift store and you know they are brand new in box, sell them because you will make some money. Kitty cats, the kitty cats, how stinking cute is this? Now in the thrift store, since a lot of times there is dim lighting, I didn't see a few stains on here. I did pre-treat it, I soaked it, and I tried to get all the stains out, but there are a few. They're not um, overly noticeable, and I believe I have this price right around $19.99 or something like that, but it's, it's kitty cats with, with, with Santa hats and antlers. So someone's gonna love this. I think it's adorable. I did a little bit more research on our vase and I think I have this priced around $20, $25. It is Nicaraguan and I think it is so beautiful because you can see where the little cutout is, some of the raw texture in there. So beautiful of a seed turtle. I love this. And I think someone else is going to love it. But yeah, I think I have it priced right around the $20 mark. This may be a booger to ship, <laughs> but I could not leave it behind for $3. It is so beautiful. Kind of tempted to keep it for myself, but I'm not. It is brass and then the beautiful black, has the beautiful feet on it. I don't think the feet are brass. Actually, I think they're brass colored. They feel like they're plastic. I don't think they're actual brass. It's just a brass color but it does have scratches on it, but I don't think that's really going to keep someone from buying it. I'll take it. Now the shipping may kill the deal. I may have to just list this online locally, but I think I have it priced around $30 and I'm not sure what the shipping is, but I do know that you can put the handle down. So that may help a little bit in shipping it. Um, I know there's some online priced very, very high, but I don't know if those are gonna sell because like I said, to ship this is going to cost a little bit of money. So I do have mine priced right around $30. But the piece de resistance, the uh, magnifique find of the day is this beautiful mohair jacket, coat, overcoat, whatever it's called, it's a coat. $8. Now it looks like it is from the 50s, but after looking at the tag and doing some research, it's only from the 70s. If I lived in an area where it got cold all the time, it really doesn't, I would keep this. I love this. But look at the little buttons on here. Oh my goodness. And there's only like one little defect somewhere. It looks like it's just Maybe a little bit of moth has gotten to it or something, a little bit of an indention. You're really not gonna see it once you tie this on, but this is definitely giving me 50s vibe, that rockabilly kind of look to it. I can really see a woman putting this on, going out to the supermarket back in the 50s, even though this is from the 70s. Um, yeah, I can really see myself wearing this back in the day. All right, dear, I'm headed over to the supermarket. Yes, I will pick up a gallon of milk. I know how little Billy and Walter love their milk. What, dear? A pack of cigarettes? Of course. The Surgeon General recommends it. So you know it's okay for you. Oh, and dear, don't forget, it's Wednesday night. You know what that means? Our Miss Brooks comes on. Sure, hon, I can pick you up something. What do you need? Aspirin for my headache. I don't have a headache. Oh. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. We started off this trip to the thrift with $41.83. We spent $39.57. We barely got out of there by the skin of our teeth. And we are now left with $2.26 that we have left to go thrifting or buy a coffee, whichever. I hope you're enjoying going with me to the thrift store to find items to flip for a profit. Remember, I'm trying to save up $4,000 so I can start on the makeover in my kitchen. I want to start on the flooring. If you missed that video, I will leave it linked in the cards and in the description box. And right now I don't have anything saved back for renovations because I'm trying to 
put it back in to get an inventory to make even more money so we can get to that flooring a lot quicker. This is taking forever. I would love it if you join the community and hit that subscribe button. And while you're doing that, give this video a like. One way to support someone's channel and their videos is to like the videos and comment. You would not believe how much the algorithm likes that. And what they'll do is I was like, huh, people like this video. Let's push it out to a few more. I need you to watch this video. Thank you so much for watching my videos, commenting on them and all of your support. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at the next one.